Hello Epic Squad, just me again um, with a full body flex and flow. This one is a longer stretch session for you because the feedback I got from the shorter version was that you wanted a longer version. So this is a really nice session from top to toe uh, to stretch out all your muscles, give you some breathing space in your mind, a mental break from your week or from whatever's been going on in life and to give your body and your muscles and your joints some very much needed love. So I do hope you enjoy this. Um, you will need, if you have one, I've got to get it out, a band, if you've got a band. If you don't have a band, then a pair of leggings or a pair of tights or a jumper, but you don't have to have those at all. Glass of water on standby in case you want to hydrate at all. Um, little sips of water throughout the stretch session, uh, just so your body can process it more effectively and get the water to those muscles where it's needed. And just enjoy, enjoy this time to yourself relax into it. We're going to be doing some static stretches, some dynamic stretches were a little bit longer in the hold sequence, just to make sure your muscle fibers are stretched correctly and then recontracted correctly. That's what it's all about today. Enjoy. Okay, so here we go. Music obviously is not going to be blasting today. It's going to be quite subtle, but it's some nice chilled music just to accompany us on our little stretch journey today. So, uh, enjoy. So first things first, starting with a nice posture, always good to align your back, keep your posterior chain, that is your cervical spine at the top, through to your thoracic spine and your lumbar spine, all nice and straight and as many moves as you can to protect your spinal cord. So we're going to start in a really nice balanced stance, nice stable base. Give yourself a little bit of a rock backwards and forwards just so you find your feet. If you have a fitness watch and you track your activity, pop it on to Pilates would be my go-to setting for my watch. Fantastic. So just finding your feet, rocking backwards and forwards. We're going to start off with some gentle shoulder movements. So we're going to stand nice and still and just give ourselves a little hug. You've probably had a really busy week or you have a really busy week ahead. So give yourself a bit of a hug, a bit of reassurance that you're doing everything you can, everything to the best of your ability in everything you're doing, okay? Give yourself a little break. Give yourself a little reset really important. Okay, now we're going to just pop our arms down. We're going to bring our head down. Hands behind the head very gently. I don't want you pulling on your neck. Just roll your head from side to side. You should feel a little stretch in the back of your neck. Nothing too severe. It's a nice release for the muscles running from the base of your skull down to your cervical spine. That's actually really nice. We spend so much time on our phones, head tilted forward. So this is a really nice stretch. Lovely. That's it. You can put a little bit more pressure on if you think that is right for you. Please work to your level. Roll those shoulders. Now we're going to do a bit of an upper shoulder stretch and upper back stretch. You're going to pretend you're holding a beach ball. Nice firm stance again, protecting that spine. Holding onto that beach ball and feel as if someone's trying to pull the beach ball away from you. You'll feel this in your trapezius muscles at the top of your shoulders, in your deltoids, in your lap. Really nice. Just 
gentle pull, as if someone's trying to get that beach ball off you, but you don't want them to have it. Just settle nice and still in that stretch position. Breathe in and breathe out. Lovely. Release the arms. We're going to do a counter stretch now. A retractive stretch of the shoulder blade. So clasping your fingers together behind you and pull your hands out behind you so your shoulder blades are squeezed together. Your scapulae are squeezed together. Our upper backs get neglected quite a lot because we are sitting down. We are hunched over desks, over computers, over phones. So this is really, really good. Have that chin slightly retracted as if you're looking to a midpoint between your ceiling and your wall. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can pull up a little bit further if it's comfortable for you, but please don't force it. This is what's called a developmental stretch, where you go a little bit further if you feel you can. But it should only ever be a mild tension, okay? A mild comfortable tension. They gently release off, swing those arms around, loosen that uh, back off a little bit. We're going to do some shoulder shrugs, so bringing the shoulders up to the ears. Oh, that's a nice one. Simple but effective. Getting some movement into the ball and socket joint. Easing ourselves gently into a nice warmed up state of muscles so that we can do our maximum flexibility and motion of movements. Wonderful. So in all my stretch sessions, I try to work on all planes of movement. So frontal, side, and top and bottom, just to make it nice and simple. So we're gonna do a bit of a side motion now, so a, a twist of the torso in the transverse plane, so we're just going to twist round, arms nice and loose, breathing nice and regulated, keeping that chest open and proud, head up, smile, makes everything better, if you're near a window, look out the window, hopefully the sun is shining, it's here, luckily today. Beautiful day, a beautiful autumnal day. If you wish to make things a little bit more intense, just take your arm around further, keeping those knees nice and soft. That's it, you'll feel a lovely twist in that mid part of your back, your thoracic spine, which is where a lot of predominant muscles are that we depend on for our core. That's it, lovely. Oh, beautiful. Last couple here. Wonderful. Take a breath in and a breath out. Fantastic. So, we're going to do some roll downs now and then we'll move down to the mat. So, nice firm base again because we haven't done any spinal downwards we're going to take it nice and slowly so we're going to roll down one vertebrae at a time to whatever your level is you do not have to touch the mat if you can touch the mat then do so you can have a you can have straight legs if you wish if you have that flexibility or you can have a slight bend in your knees whatever is comfortable if you have straight legs try not to hyper mobile push the back I've got very flexible knees, and I don't want to lock them out. What you need to be feeling here is a lovely release in your lumbar spine, your lower spine, a release in your shoulders where your limbs are hanging down and gravity is pulling you down for a natural stretch. And you might well be feeling this in your hamstrings, at the back of your thighs, and in your calves as well, your lower legs. Come back up slowly. One vertebrae at a time. Now you know the technique, I'll come around to face camera and again, chin down, roll down, tracing the legs down to the floor, to your level, and hopefully with each roll down, roll it back up, you will get a little bit lower. And with practice, you'll get a little bit lower. It could be one of your goals that you want 
to increase your flexibility in your back. Down we go again. Lovely. And up. Slowly, slowly. Head is the last thing to come up. And one more time. We're going to stay down there for a little bit this time. Down your line. 
to my stool side. Breathe in. <laughs> Your side muscles if you don't want to be punched. Back to second position. Back to first. Have a good stretch. Feel as if someone's really pulling you, pulling your fingers. Wonderful. Now we're going to do a bit of a squat stretch. So sort your leggings out. Um, rock back onto the bottom of your feet. So you're squatting like a frog. Now this may not be comfortable. So if you need to come up, absolutely fine but have your feet wide as a really stable base then you can lean on the uh, top of your thighs the top of your quads if you wish if you're coming lower into a full caveman squat you can put your elbows either side the inside of your knees and while you're here at whatever level you're at please only go to your level just have a little wiggle around have a little move see where you need to um, those hips you know which side's feeling a bit tighter than the other because we're not all uniform with how our muscles and joints feel you are going to find that your left or right side is more dominant or more flexible um, for me different areas of my body are more flexible so I can't say it's all left sided or right sided but um, it's interesting doing stretches and flexibility moves to find out where those little niggles may be and where you need a bit more of a stretch a little wriggle around such a good exercise if you find that's really loading your quads just push up to stand in and straighten your legs slightly you'll feel all that pressure release come back down have a bit more of a move around you can rock backwards and forwards because this will give you some ankle mobility really important to flex your ankles we'll do a bit more in a second come back up and straighten those legs time I'm feeling it here in my adductors and abductors because um, I'm doing quite a lot of running and strength work so it's, it's a really good stretch for the inside of the thighs come back down again gently now while you're down here pop one of your legs out now you can either have it out so your foot is flat, flat on the floor would be helpful if you can see it like this or if you're a bit more I mean you can be up here you don't have to be down low if you're flexible, go down low. If it's comfortable for you to go down low. If not, you can stay here and pop your hands on the floor and just have a stretch of the inside of the thigh. If you can, twist your foot around, pop it up. And this is what we call a Cossack stretch. You can see why. If I was to do this left and right really quickly, I'd look like a Russian Cossack dancer. I am not doing that. Um, whichever position you are in, now breathe in, breathe out. If you can stretch it a little further than do, so you can get your calf down to the mat more, do that. Remember not to hyperextend backwards your knee. If you are in this position and you're up higher, see if you can come down a little bit further. But give yourself that support, hold on to the floor, lean on your knee, whatever is comfortable. But keep your head higher than your heart so you don't get lightheaded. Wonderful. One more breath in. Sides and walk your hands across, pop the other leg out, whatever way you're doing it, whether you're here, up here, or down here. This is a fantastic calf stretch, lower leg, adductor stretch, in a thigh, good for the quads, really good for any runners, your iliotibial band that runs down the outside of your leg. your leg more or you can get down into that stretch a little bit more and do so now I'm having a little rock because I can feel it in my adductors on the inside of my thigh breathe in and breathe out wonderful come back to a triangle upright stance slightly just to give your legs a little bit of stretch and then pop one of your legs forward we're going to do some hip flexor stretches so 
make sure your toes are in front of your knees. Your knees shouldn't be going over your toes. I said about ankle mobility earlier, so we're going to do a bit of ankle mobility in this as well. So hip flexors are these flexors here. You've got a really important, as I said, iliotibial band that runs from your hip all the way down your leg, which gives you lots of stability and strength. So we're going to just ease into this stretch and come forward into like a lunge position. Come forward so you can see a bit better, like that. And just lean very lightly on your knee. You shouldn't be pushing. Your body weight shouldn't be fall forward. You should be nice and upright so you can breathe effectively. Go back around this way, you stay where you are. Okay, so easing forward, settle into that, breathe in, breathe out. Now, while you're here, pop your other hand down and just wiggle your knee in small circles. That's what I was saying about ankle mobility. We quite often forget that you know our ankles take a lot, a lot of weight bearing and load bearing. They're constantly being moved, constantly under pressure, and it's quite rare that anyone actually ever mobilizes their ankles. So when you're stood up, try and wiggle your ankles around, flexion, inflection, um, you know, try and just keep them mobile because you'll soon know if you get any ankle problems or they start to seize up. So give them a little wiggle, wonderful, stop that. Come a bit further forward into that stretch. You can put your hands either side of the mat to go in a little deeper. Breathe in, breathe out, wonderful. If you can, you might need to bring your knee forward a little bit. Come backwards, pop your heel up and come backwards if you can. So your other heel is sitting on your bottom. Yes, that's right, I thought I said that the wrong way around then. If you can't, just come to as far as is comfortable. Come to here and if you're gonna lean slightly for stability lean on your bent leg not your straight leg so here if you wish breathe in breathe out or down here if you wish getting a lovely stretch in the calf and hamstring wonderful change legs other hip flexor remember toes further forward than knee really lean into it. This is a really good shot to show you how effective this is because your hip flexor stretch goes all the way from your foot basically on the forward foot all the way down to the rear of your backward foot. So you know it's it's a blim, blim, blimmin' brilliant stretch. Can get my words out then. So leaning into it nice and gently. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pop those hands down if you wish, get a little bit further forward and then give that knee a little bit of a wriggle, give that ankle some love, wiggle your toes, hello toes, ah. oh dear, you can tell it's a rest I've gone a bit bonkers, okay, just go to where you need to go to, have a little wriggle around, have a little play, and then if you can lean further forward into it, do so, breathe in, breathe out. One point if you can, transfer that weight back to wherever is comfortable for you. Lovely, you want to feel that beautiful stretch down your calf muscle. Really feel it in the adductors there, right on the inner thigh. Breathe in. So we're going to do something called a quad lean back. Now, this may not be accessible for all of you because um, some people can't be on their knees too much. If you can't be on your knees, I'll show you an alternative for a quad stretch. So if you find this is going to be overloading your knees, then you can lie down on your front. And again, you can use your band that we spoke about earlier or your leggings and pull your foot towards your bottom to get a quad stretch. Okay, so you guys can be doing that and changing over to get a really nice quad stretch. Okay, rather than getting up off the mat and down on the mat, let's do a laying quad stretch. The rest of you, if you're okay to be on your heels, come back on your heels, sit 
sit down, you're going to raise yourself up, oh it felt like a transformer then, and you're going to slightly lean back, it's only a small movement but boy do you feel it in the quads, you can put your hands out in front of you to counterbalance, come up, let's just get used to the movement before we settle and do some breathing, come back slowly, you're going to feel it from your knees up through the whole of your quads, come back up, chest nice and open and proud, come back down, okay this time we're going to do a nice breathing to just relax into it a bit more, so slowly back, breathe in, breathe out, come up, wonderful, one more of those, breathe in, breathe out, Fabulous. Now this time we're going to do a little bit of a twist on the transverse plane. You're going to come back, bring your arm back, and come forward. Lean back, bring your arm back, and come forward. If you are doing the main quad stretch because this is hurting your knees, you can be sitting on your bottom and doing these sitting. So coming up with a nice straight back. Pulling it back like you've got a bow and arrow. All of these can be done the sitting down, okay? So a couple more in that knee position. Leaning back. Draw back that elbow. Keep it nice and tight. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come up. One on the other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wonderful. And you can come back into child's. Just stretch yourself out after that. Oh, lovely. Well done. That's quite um, a tough one on the thighs if you're not used to doing stuff on your knees. But there are always adaptations. You can always sit down and do those exercises. I actually quite like doing those exercises sat down. And just coming back to a slight lean. You can also do a come out to the side. It's quite a nice sequence. I think I'll do one like that for you, where we do some more sort of uh, Pilates type movements to stretch you out. Okay, so now you need your band. Let's get our bands. If you haven't got a band, you can do all this without a band. So laying down on your back. Pop one leg in the air. If you don't have a band, hold your leg under your knee joint and just gently pull it towards you till you feel a mild tension. If you have a band, pop that on your foot and pull your leg towards you. Beautiful hamstring stretch. Keep your head on the mat so you don't strain your back and your neck. Whichever holes you are doing, Remember, do not hold on your knee joint, either above or below, I would suggest below. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, your pain receptors in your muscles have probably gone, oh, this is okay. Oh, we're not gonna get hurt, so we'll relax. So, if you can, pull your leg a little bit further towards you. Doesn't have to be a massive amount, just enough to feel that mild tension. Breathe in, breathe out. Now while we're here, let's point our foot and flex our foot. Point our foot.
range of motion is. If you're not with a band, you might want to just go to here. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Lay 
your hand and arm weights onto your thighs. Breathe in.
all to do so, okay? Please go to your range of movement. This is more intense. You are clenching and tightening at your quads and your um, glutes. And you're gonna feel this in your abdominal muscles as well, as well as that lumbar spine at the bottom of your spine. Change 
weight of your hand. You've done really, really well. Breathe in. Change that hand position to just behind the ear. No pulling needed. You feel that stretch on the side of your neck, side to the back. Well done for taking the time out for yourself. Well done for taking the time out to give your muscles and your joints a bit of love. Because we all too often come up, give your neck a little shake. We all too often schedule in our workouts and completely forget to schedule in any stretching. Gently hold behind your head. Just the weight of your hands, no pulling. Feel that lovely stretch from the base of your skull down to your cervical spine. up nice and tall, roll the shoulders again, come round onto all fours, push up onto the balls of your feet, we are nearly there, slowly we are going to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, wonderful, let's do some side reaches, just to get our lower back moving again. Such a good stretch for the obliques. Then we're gonna reach up, stretch that lower back even more, quadratus lumborum, the base of the spine. Hopefully you're feeling a few inches taller. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more flexible and mobile ready to face the rest of your day or go to bed, whichever you are doing. Let's take some deep breaths. We're going to breathe in, confidence, and exhale, down. Breathe in, confidence. everybody well done that was a really really good session top to toe flow and flex for you i hope you enjoyed it 49 minutes of love for your body which is very much needed in this day and age have a fantastic day no matter what you're doing or a fantastic evening and have a good sleep if you're going to bed and remember you are being the best version of you and no 